Hey everybody, today is July 4th, Friday, so happy Independence Day for those of us in the United States, and everybody else, happy Friday. Um, I'm obviously I'm playing Lord of the Rings Online here, I'm doing a little bit of crafting, or farming, actually. Um, I've maxed out farmer and cook in the yeoman profession, and uh, every time I plant a Westham Net coffee field, get 81 experience points. And every time I pick one up, it's 75 experience points. And then every time I harvest it back at the workbench, it's, uh, I want to say 68 experience. And then every time I grind the coffee beans, it's another 62 or 63 or something like that. Uh, now, mind, I do have root stone to help me get experience. And what I'm doing here is I'm planting five crops at a time, and I hit on my keyboard delete to target in front of me, and U to use a uh, selected object, and it just you know moves things along. And I also have uh, superior tools, the expert yeoman, uh, made by a friend of mine. Um, but unfortunately, I haven't been able to find anyone selling anything better because I'm level 44 now. And uh, those are level 25 tools. But anyway. So uh, this has been my little side project last couple weeks in Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, you know, I pop in, do a little bit of this, catch up on podcasts, listen to some music, watch some TV, you know, while I'm doing this. Um, and... Uh, the, the, the funny thing is is that I set out to do this originally. This character's whole purpose is farming and cooking, you know, gaining experience through this. Um, she uh, start, got out of the tutorial at around level 7, and I've been farming and cooking my way up in the levels ever since. I got maybe a handful of kills, but I, I basically I'm sticking to a non-combat philosophy. Uh, the weapons you can see in my inventory over there are um, uh, are there just in case I need them, but typically I don't even have them equipped. And see, that one's level 40, that's level 30, and that's level 40. Um, and aside from initial amounts of seed money, um, I got one gold from a friend, I got two gold from another friend, and then I got four gold from some random dude who thought it was really funny that I was doing this, and I'm up to ten. I was up to twelve last time, but, you know, uh, went and got myself a bow on the auction hall, so. So, basically, uh, I am literally farming my way up in levels. Like I said, I started at level 7, and I've gotten all the way to level 44, only through crafting. Uh, there's maybe two quests, two or three. No, no, no. I did the Hobbit post office run throughout the Shire. That helped me get all the stables. And then I did um, a couple of non-combat related things, like touring Bree and uh, stuff like that. And then I have also gotten all the exploration deeds that I could in Arid Lewin, the Shire, and Breland. And I've got the first Stable Master in the North Downs at Trestlebridge, and the first Stable Master in Lonelands at the Forsaken Inn, I believe it's called. I, I don't know, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, it's the Forsaken Inn. Anyway, um, and I'm hoping I'll be high enough level in the near future to... Um, go get the exploration deeds in those regions as well. Oh, and I got the first one in Evendim at Oatbarton, which is just north of here. Oh, uh, I'm in the Shire. If you can't tell by the hobbit holes in the background there. Uh, you taking advantage of the superior farmland. Actually, the main thing is that uh, behind me is a uh, superior farm farming supply guy and it just makes life so much easier just to do all the farming here um, 
Now, the best perk is that I chose to be a, a hunter. A friend of mine is also doing this. Um, he, he's the guy who came up with the idea to begin with. Between the two of us, anyways. And um, and he's playing Captain. But I'm playing a, uh, a hunter because I thought that you know the travel skills would be more useful, the fast movement, that sort of thing. And yeah, they've proved invaluable. Uh, just I've got my campsite set. There's a uh, campfire um, just past where the uh, over by the party tree in the Shire. There is a campfire, and I've set that as my uh, return to camp uh, so that I can get to the farmland real fast. And I make uh, prodigious use of uh, guide to Mickle delving for cooking because there's a superior oven and superior uh, cooking vendor there as well as the cooking guild, which I'm a part of, uh, although I haven't bothered doing much with it in uh, recent days. Um, also, you know, from time to time, you know, if I feel like it, I grind some of the, the skills on the toolbar for deeds, but, you know, that's just gravy. I mean, anyway, that's what I do. Uh, in Lotro these days, anyway. I can always pop back onto my captain, who's level 72, I believe. But, you know, this is interesting. Uh, it's different. It's relaxing. Um, and uh, it's funny as hell. Uh, I mean, I'm 40% of the way through this level. And I'm all I'm doing is this. Throwing seeds around. Man, if only real farming worked like this. Oh, and last weekend there was a welcome back weekend. Bonus XP. On top of the bonus XP I already get. Whew. And and at the time I had a small blue bar buff. Uh, the, the, the bonus experience buff that runs out after a while. Yeah, that was funny as hell. It's a pity that some of the other buffs, you know, they don't work with crafting. But crafting gives such a steady XP payout, even though it's rather low, comparatively speaking, to on-level bad guys. Um, I think that, you know, I mean, in, in just a few seconds, I make a couple hundred XP. It usually takes a little bit more work if you're just doing combat. Also, there's a lot more walking and there's entire periods of time you're not making any XP because you're, you know, going from point A to point B and, you know, that sort of thing. So, uh, that said, though, uh, in discussions with my friends, we basically come to the conclusion that yeoman is the only profession that you really do this with um, because farming and cooking. Farming helps cooking and cooking is just easy to get through in one location if you have all the supplies you need. Um, you do need a little bit of seed money. Um, two, three gold to start, to buy new tools, to uh, repair your existing tools, to um, buy materials. And you have to be very careful in cooking. You can bankrupt yourself if you're not careful buying the wrong supplies. Uh, for wet, uh, coffee, um, it, it pisses me off because there's a uh, there's a large clay pot and you need one of them per cup of coffee which is stupid as hell um, and they cost something like seven silver 20 copper a piece and if you're making huge batches of coffee you know because you want to get experience in cooking uh, as well as you know down here on your levels uh, level bar it, 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 it's just way too expensive to be any help. So it, that's why I stop at grinding the coffee and then I sell all of that off. I'm actually making a profit. But um, one of the things I learned is an easy way to make a lot of experience and a bunch of cash in the game is uh, make... Oh, what is it? It is Master Level Strong Drink Blackberry Ale. You can make the winter mash, you can make the humble hops, and you can make the blackberries. All you need to do is buy that. You buy the seeds for the blackberries, you buy the water for the blackberries, you buy the fertilizer. 
Same thing for the humble hops, seeds, water, fertilizer. Same thing for the mash, seeds, water, fertilizer. And then, um, so you get the experience for planting the blackberries and the experience for picking up the blackberries, harvesting. And then you get the experience for sorting the blackberries. So that's three piles of experience right there. Then you get the experience for planting the hops, pick, uh, harvesting the hops, and then sorting the hops. And then you get the experience for turning it from hops into prepared hops, which is just add water. Um, then same thing for the mash. You get experience for planting the mash, harvesting the mash, sorting the mash, or the, the barley, I mean. Um, then you get experience for turning it into mash. And then you get experience again for turning it to ale. And the value of two to four blackberry ales for all of that, you're making money, like hand over fist. And it's it's good XP around the master level, uh, and it got me, you know, pretty f pretty far up in levels just doing that. Um, I think I plowed through the twenties just doing that, basically. Um, and and it's a great way of funding. The new, the all buying all the recipes you need for Supreme and up uh, off the auction hall or from the vendors, as well as funding other supplies. It's like, oh, I'm running low on cash. Looks like I better do a Blackberry Ale run, yeah, that sort of thing. Right now, though, um, West of Net Coffee is paying off an XP. Uh, I get XP for planting it, harvesting it, sorting it, and then grinding the beans over here on the cooking tab. Um, uh, Bring it to this step, and don't do this, because this thing is expensive. And the amount of money you get for selling a cup of Western Net coffee isn't worth the amount of money you spend to make it. Also, I don't use critical items. I happen to sell them. So the, the pile of Western Net herbs is just bonus cash. Uh, oh, and the soil that you get for Westfold, Eastern Net, and Western Net um, that's just extra experience there, as well as extra cash. Because you uh, turn it into peat, and it's like 80 some odd experience per, uh, as is. And then uh, you, uh, you sell off what you make, which is this stuff. And you can get a pretty penny. Uh, I'm keeping the coffee beans. Actually, I've been sending them to a friend of mine who uh, really wants the coffee beans. I have no need for them. I don't want to bother. It's a, um, I think it's a cooking guild recipe or something. And you have to have that type of coffee bean. But the only way you get the coffee bean is if you plant and harvest a lot of coffee beans. And I'm doing it, but that's not the reason I'm doing it. And my friend is more into the cooking guild stuff than I am, so I'm just handing it over. Anyway, I think that's enough of me prattling on while my character does farming. Uh, hopefully there'll be something more interesting next time. But this is what I've been working on. And as you can see, I've already hit the L in the word level at the bottom of the screen there. So uh, it's slow, but uh, it's consistent. And it's entertaining. Every time I ding a level, it's funny as hell. <laughs> so until next time.